energy system in the United States is becoming more volatile. We don't know what the future prices and market conditions are going to be. And that's yet another reason for fuel diversity as fleet operators consider what sorts of investments they should pursue. My name is Ines Azevedo. I'm a professor in engineering and public policy at Carnegie Mellon University, where I co-lead a center on climate and energy decision making. The key benefit for an organization in terms of having the diversity of fuel is really to handle risk and to be able to address environmental regulations. But it's really the key point is that we don't know how the energy prices are likely to play out in the future. And this may really make a difference for power plant operators that have a mix of coal and natural gas plants. Small differences in fuel prices, in particular for the differential between natural gas and coal, may really make an entire difference about whether a plant can make it or, or not. When we look back at the early 1990s, there was an enormous peak of capacity added for natural gas. Those were both single cycle and advanced combined cycle power plants. And all of those were built with the anticipation that would have very low natural gas prices and also with the anticipation that environmental regulations would be kicking in. Well, bad news, the natural gas prices went up and at the same time, the environmental regulations got delayed. So we ended up with a lot of capacity built for natural gas that was really unused and where the fleet operators couldn't recoup the costs of building that large infrastructure. The most important risk is really the amount of capital investment. In this case, when we're thinking about large power plants, large coal, natural gas, power plants, or nuclear, we're talking about billion dollar investments. I think for that reason, it is important to think not only about fuel diversity, but also the diversity in the sizes of the investments done, so that as a fleet, one would increase also the amount of renewables and other distributed electricity generation, where the incremental capital cost is lower than those massive power plants. For power plant operators, they really have two decisions. The size of the power plants and whether they want to go towards more large-scale power plants where you have economies of scale versus smaller scale one and the mix of fuels and technologies that they can pursue. I believe for decision makers, the key thing that they need to consider is the long-term perspective. Decisions are being made in very short term, which provides the opportunity for big mistakes, in particular for setting up large assets that are not profitable in the long term. The critical things would be to address explicitly the range of potential future fuel prices as well as regulations that would restrict the number of options that they can actually pursue in a cost-effective way.